A Frisco child pornography case from 2015 gets delayed yet again. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News. Do something good. Do something good. There you go. Do something good. That's what this is all about. Good job. That was the sound of giving this morning at the Frisco Historic Park when representatives from local nonprofits came together to kick off Summit Gives. It's a philanthropy drive for the holidays and it made its local debut with the Historic Park kickoff. Tune in today at 4 and 5 p.m. for more from the Summit Gives debut. Expect lanes on both sides of I-70 to be closed today for barrier replacement. CDOT closed one eastbound and one westbound lane near the Eisenhower Tunnel beginning this morning at 8 a.m. Be ready for delays until 3 p.m. Barrier work and closures continue on Thursday. Swan Mountain Road was closed for more than five hours yesterday when a dump truck rolled over a guardrail. The road closed around 12.30 p.m. and didn't reopen until 5.30 p.m. Colorado State Patrol reports that the driver sustained no injuries and no other vehicles were involved in the rollover. After two and a half years of delays, a Frisco man accused of keeping child pornography will finally go to trial, but not until next year. The Summit Daily reports that 60-year-old Kenneth Scott Casey was arrested in July 2015 when his ex-girlfriend allegedly found more than 2,000 images of minors on his computer. He was scheduled for a jury trial next week, but a judge granted an extension when Casey excused his fourth and final public defender. He will now hire a private lawyer for his trial in March 2018. A district court judge calls it the oldest case on the docket. If found guilty, Casey faces up to 12 years in prison. He claims his ex-girlfriend fabricated the child porn evidence. New anti-smoking ads are coming to Colorado, and they're being paid for by Big Tobacco. This from the Associated Press. Starting this week, the tobacco industry begins showing anti-smoking ads with hard-hitting facts. That includes figures that show cigarettes kill more people in the U.S. than AIDS, suicide, murder, and drugs combined. The ads are part of an 11-year-old federal ruling against Big Tobacco, but the case actually stretches back to 1999 when the Justice Department filed a lawsuit claiming tobacco companies misled consumers. The ads are part of the settlement. Big Tobacco has made 260 ads that run five times per week for an entire year. Last year, the smoking rate for adults hit a new low of 15% across the U.S. That's down from a high of 42% in the mid-1960s. December 1st is the return of Wassail Days in Frisco. It's a 10-day celebration to kick off the holiday season, and it begins this Friday with the lighting of Frisco at 5.30 p.m. That comes with caroling and a visit from Santa Claus. Events continue until December 10th at the Nordic Center, Adventure Park, and across town. For a full schedule of Wassail Days events, see wassaildays.com. That's W-A-S-S-A-I-L-Days.com. In sports, the Nuggets play the Jazz in Utah tonight at 8 p.m. on ESPN. The Avalanche are off until tomorrow. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News.